The recently passed amendment to the Electricity Act, which paves the way for grid tie-in connection, is about to be put into practice. The government has chosen a local high school right here in the capital to become the first public green school. And as Carla Palmer tells us tonight, work is already in progress. Anatole Rogers High School will pilot the government's solar energy efficient project. Making the announcement directly to the group it will impact was Environment Minister the Honorable Kenra Dorset. Anatole Rogers has been selected because it is a magnet uh, school for pre-engineering and what we want to do is have the children of Anatole become more aware of the new renewable energy technologies to look at a career path for them as they come out of high school to get more training um, to really ensure that we bahamianize uh, the renewable energy uh, sector as best as possible. Minister Dorset is fueled by hopes of a successful outcome and the benefits to be derived from a fossil free fueled environment. Really looking forward uh, to what we're able to do here because it creates the model for what we should do throughout our public schools. So not only will Anatole Rogers be able to reduce the amount of electricity that it is that it consumes from BC, but any excess that it produces will be able to go into the grid and they will be able to get credit for it. The project is being made possible by Carbon Warum, a non-profit organization that assists small island nations in lessening its carbon footprint. We are a part of the Ten Island Challenge along with other Caribbean countries, all of whom have made a commitment uh, to remove, to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and incorporate more renewable energy technologies in our energy matrix. According to Minister Dorset, a technical team from Carbon Warum has already assessed the school for testing and fitting. Meaning the installation of solar, uh, 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 sorry, solar powered systems, photovoltaic systems for the school, um, having the school become energy efficient, so the transference of canned, uh, incandescent bulbs to um, LED lighting. Minister Dorset says once this model is completed and shows the data as being successful, this project will be extended to other schools. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.